In today's video, I'd love to share with you three of my favorite head voice strengthening exercises that have really helped me with my muscle tension dysphonia. Just in case we haven't met yet, hey there, my name is Liz and welcome to Mind, Body and Soul Singing, where I help singers like you and me too obtain physical, emotional and spiritual freedom in our voices. If you like this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel to grow so I can help more people. So for these three head voice strengthening exercises, I'm going to suggest that you just try them off of piano. You know, just make sounds, make noises, approach it like you're speaking. Um, and I find often that when we practice exercises off of the piano, it really takes the pressure off and we can just play like little kids and we can experiment um, with our voices. And you can do this anywhere. You can do it in the shower, while you're doing the dishes. You know, I would just, you know, take, you know, five minutes here, five minutes there, two minutes here, two minutes there, and just play with these exercises every day. And in no time, you will master the exercises. And don't get discouraged if it takes a while to really master these exercises. I would really look at it like going to the gym, right? Um, it takes time to build muscle. And remind yourself that um, a little bit of tension is okay. We don't want to strain, but we are engaging muscle. So my advice would be just to play around with your range. And if you're straining, just don't go there, just find your edge where you're almost failing and just keep trying. And eventually you'll be able to get higher and lower and stretch your range out with time. Head voice strengthening exercise number one, the puppy whimper or the puppy cry. Um, it sounds like this. Um, and this one can be challenging for some people. So my advice is to pretend like you're a little kid and you're just a puppy and you're crying. And I would try it throughout your day. Um, let's see, some little tidbits could be, you can think M. And kind of focus it towards your nose. Do you notice how whiny it is? So focus the vibration like in your nasal passage and don't worry if you don't get it right right away. Um, that's why you're here to learn and grow. So every day, give it a try. Every day is a new day to try again. Um, you can also try thinking about H to give it a try if you're struggling. Think of an H like sending air forward to the nose. Uh, another way that you can play with a puppy whimper is to put your tongue in an NG position and, you know, just like play around with these different options. Like when you say sing, your tongue goes up in the back. So you could put your tongue up in the back and open your mouth if that feels more comfortable. And I would, you know, pick the one that feels most comfortable to master first. And you could try the other one, but who cares if I wouldn't live and die on an exercise. Like just pick the one that's comfortable. So my tongue is on an NG position, like sing. I keep it up and it's in my nose. And um, after you play around with it off of the piano, you could try some notes on the piano. You could bring it to your vocal coach, your speech therapist. You know, like I don't have a piano today, but you know, here's a no, uh, here's a no, here's a note. And you could go up your range to extend your range and just get your head voice really strong. 
head voice strengthening exercise number two, one of my new favorites. Um, this exercise is go with a K, ko. The K will just bring your voice a little bit more forward. And again, I would phonate and play around with it off of the piano for a bit. Um, I feel like when we do exercises off of the piano, it just feels more free too. Um, and it's also, you're just um, closer to your speaking voice this way and you're not trying to sing. You're, you're actually just using your voice to like speak or play instead of like sing. And I've noticed when I try to sing, I'm trying, I'm like trying really hard to get notes down. But who cares if you get the notes right? It's really about how it feels and um, how it sounds. So let me demonstrate. Go with a K. Co 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 See how I'm sort of talking and I'm just throwing it out there. What we don't want is this. Co 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 co. We don't want to like push it out, strain it out, force it out. We want all the notes to sound and feel the same. So I would say your form, the way it sounds and feels should be the most important thing. And you can worry about like hitting the notes perfectly later. This is why it's great to do it off the piano because you're just throwing them out there up and down. Go, 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 go. And see my jaws moving up and down too. Go, 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 go. And then you can throw them on the piano as well. Um, you could do one, three, five, eight, 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 five, three, one is my go-to right now. Go, 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 boom, boom. Go, 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 boom, boom. Go, 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 go. You can think they're gentle taps. You're just throwing it out there like speech. And you don't want it to be airy. You want it to be like speech. When I speak, I'm not airy like this. Head voice can have some breathiness to it, but before you add like breathiness, you need to have this skill down first. You need to have good closure and you need to have like a core sound first. Yeah. So notice how I go up. Go, 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 go. It sounds like the bottom notes too. Go, 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 go. Go, go. And if I start to strain, go, 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 go. If I'm straining, just come back down and play a little lower and keep working on extending your range. Head voice strengthening exercise number three. This is a new one for me. Goo. Um, so you might have noticed with the co, um, I did a lot of staccato stuff, which just means bouncy. Um, in music, we have staccato and legato. So staccato just means bouncy and short. Um, and legato is more long and connected. But I would start with staccato and short. And maybe even going fast. Or you can just play around, whatever. But sometimes going fast can help as well. But you can ask yourself, is this helping? And if it isn't, try just going slower. Um, goo. So same deal, right? Goo, goo, goo. I don't want it to be airy or whispery. I want good closure. I don't want it to be goo, 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 goo. So really approach this like speaking, not singing, not singing a head voice, um, but throwing it out there like you're talking. Just throw it out. Goo, 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 goo. Notice how it's not whispery and the form is good. It all sounds the same up and down my range. And that can be the goal. And I'm kind of going fast. I'm throwing it out there like a child. I'm not like um, nitpicking every note and trying to get it like perfected. I'm just part of this work is trying to let go and have fun and be like a child and not to try hard. And that's really helped me a lot. Um, and then you can throw these on piano, um, all of them. You can really do any skill you want, you know? 
go 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 or go 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 or go 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 and again who cares if you master the actual notes it's really about the form it's really about it feeling good um before it like sounds beautiful and you hit all the right notes we're not really we don't really have to care about that right away you know um and then you know you can add legato to it which is more smooth connected to it so with the ng position it could be legato um the co i don't know you could be like me and just come up with stuff uh how about co 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 Um, with the goo. Goo, 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 goo. So you can get creative and play around with them. And, um, yeah. So those are my three head voice strengthening exercises for muscle tension dysphonia. I really feel like a lot of times when we have muscle tension dysphonia, it's because we have a weak head voice. Um, we're either too breathy up there and that can create a lot of weight, a lot of muscle usage, um, or we're straining and maybe pulling chest voice up because we have a weak head voice. Um, for me, I thought you had to be airy up there. So that was my issue. Um, I didn't like make that connection that, oh, I actually have to have like kind of this strong connected voice up there. It'll feel different than chest voice, you know, but it will still be this strong voice that'll be really helpful. Um, and I'm a belter, so like this really helps my mix. It really helps when I want to go into head voice. Um, you don't have to be a belter, obviously, for this to help you. Um, head voice singing. Um, I mean, look at Billie Eilish, she doesn't belt and she has an incredible head voice. Um, what you're hearing when she sings one of her new hits, What Was I Made For? It is a more breathy head voice tone, but you really have to master this first, and then you can add some breath around it. Um, check out my shorts. I talk about Billie Eilish and how to sing that song too, when you're ready for it. Well, I hope you enjoyed these three incredible strength training, head voice exercises for muscle tension, dysphonia, and beyond. I just feel like approaching it in this way is really helpful for MTD to take away the hard trying and to connect it more to speech. Um, and it's just really helped me. Um, and I have muscle tension, dysphonia, so yay. I hope you enjoy the beautiful view. I'm at my amazing uncle's cabin in the Adirondack Mountains, taking some time off, getting better from a cold. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, again, like, subscribe, share, smash that notification bell because it really helps to grow the channel so I can help more people and reach more people to help. Um, I release new videos every Friday, mostly teaching, but also I'm a singer-songwriter, so uh, you can check out my voice and my singing and my art um, under my playlist. And I hope you have a great time. I'm always available to answer questions. So shoot me a DM on Instagram at LizBills or email me at LizBills1 at gmail.com. I also take vocal students. If you'd like to work with me, send me an email, throw me a comment. The comments also help the algorithm. Um, and I hope you have an amazing day and this is gonna really help. All right, I love you. Bye.